Mastering Literature Search, Keywords versus Me SH Terms in Google Scholar and PubMed. Whether you're a student, researcher, or medical professional, literature search is a vital part of your work. In this video, we're going to explore the differences between using keywords and the SH terms in Google Scholar and PubMed, and provide you with some fascinating examples from the medical and social sciences. Have you ever felt lost in the sea of articles and journals when trying to find literature related to your research? Are you tired of spending hours searching for literature online, only to end up with irrelevant results? If yes, then you have come to the right place. We will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of conducting online literature searches using Google Scholar and PubMed. Google Scholar When conducting a literature search using Google Scholar, it's important to know how to filter your search results effectively. Filtering your search results can help you find the most relevant articles quickly, saving you time and effort in the long run. One way to filter your results in Google Scholar is by date. This feature allows you to sort your results by the date of publication, which is useful when you're looking for the most up-to-date information on a topic. For example, if you're conducting research on a recent development in your field, you can filter your search results to show only articles published within the last year or two. Another useful filter in Google Scholar is the ability to sort your results by author. This can be particularly helpful if you're interested in the work of a particular author or group of authors. By filtering your search results by author, you can quickly identify articles written by experts in your field, or locate the latest publications by your favorite authors. Finally, you can also filter your search results in Google Scholar by publication. This feature allows you to focus your search on specific journals or publications that are relevant to your research topic. For example, if you're looking for articles on the topic of mental health, you might filter your results to show only articles published in reputable, peer-reviewed journals in the field of psychology. Examples from Medical Sciences Let's say you are interested in researching the relationship between physical exercise and cardiovascular disease. To search for relevant articles, you could use the key terms physical exercise, cardiovascular disease, and risk factors. You can then use Google Scholar to find articles related to these terms. Once you have found relevant articles, you can explore the references to find additional related articles and to further refine your search. Another example could be a literature search for the relationship between sleep and depression. You could use key terms such as sleep, depression, and mental health. Using these search terms, you can use Google Scholar to find relevant articles that investigate this relationship. By using filters and exploring related articles, you can refine your search to find the most relevant and high-quality literature on this topic. Examples from Social Sciences Suppose you are interested in researching the effects of social media on adolescent mental health. To search for relevant articles, you could use key terms such as social media, adolescence, mental health, and psychological well-being. Using these search terms, you can use Google Scholar to find relevant articles that investigate this relationship. You can also explore the references to find additional related articles and to further refine your search. Another example could be a literature search for the impact of parental involvement on academic achievement in children. Using key terms such as parental involvement, academic achievement, children, and education, you can use Google Scholar to find relevant articles that investigate this relationship. By using filters and exploring related articles, you can refine your search to find the most relevant and high-quality literature on this topic. Google Scholar searches for the keywords you provide in the titles, abstracts, and texts of articles. It is important to use relevant keywords that will help you find the most relevant articles. PubMed It is a comprehensive database that contains biomedical literature, including journal articles, books, and reports related to health and life sciences. 
It's a free resource provided by the U.S. National Library of Medicine and the National Institutes of Health NIH. PubMed is widely used by medical professionals, researchers, and students for literature search related to biomedical research. One of the unique features of PubMed is the use of medical subject headings, MESH, terms to index articles. MESH terms are a standardized set of terms and phrases that describe the content of each article. These terms are used to create a consistent and organized system for searching the database. MESH terms are also hierarchical, meaning that broader terms include more specific terms within them. This makes it easier to find articles on specific topics and to identify related articles. To use MESH terms in your search, you can click on the MESH link located under the search box. This will take you to the MESH database where you can search for the appropriate terms for your research topic. You can then use these terms to refine your search and to find articles that are most relevant to your research question. In addition to MESH terms, PubMed also allows you to filter your search results by different criteria such as publication date, language, article type, and more. This helps you to narrow down your search and to find the most relevant articles for your research. Examples from Medical Sciences Let's say you are interested in researching the relationship between diet and diabetes. To search for relevant articles, you could use MESH terms such as diet, diabetes, and risk factors. You can then use PubMed to find articles related to these terms. Once you have found relevant articles, you can explore the MESH terms associated with these articles to find additional related articles and to further refine your search. Another example could be a literature search for the relationship between physical activity and cardiovascular disease. Using the SH terms such as physical activity, cardiovascular disease, and prevention, you can use PubMed to find relevant articles that investigate this relationship. By exploring the MESH terms associated with these articles, you can refine your search to find the most relevant and high-quality literature on this topic. Examples from Social Sciences Suppose you are interested in researching the effects of social support on mental health in older adults. To search for relevant articles, you could use MESH terms such as social support, mental health, older adults, and quality of life. Using these search terms, you can use PubMed to find relevant articles that investigate this relationship. By exploring the MESH terms associated with these articles, you can refine your search to find the most relevant and high-quality literature on this topic. Another example could be a literature search for the impact of family support on mental health in children. Using the SH terms such as family support, mental health, children, and psychological well-being, you can use PubMed to find relevant articles that investigate this relationship. By exploring the MESH terms associated with these articles, you can refine your search to find the most relevant and high-quality literature on this topic. Overall, PubMed is a valuable resource for anyone conducting biomedical research. Its use of MESH terms and other search filters allows for more precise and targeted searches, making it easier to find relevant and high-quality literature. In conclusion, Google Scholar and PubMed are powerful tools that enable you to access relevant literature in your field of study. By using the appropriate keywords or MESH terms and filters, you can quickly and efficiently find the information you need for your research. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you for watching.